All right, we're back talking nutrition for CrossFit athletes. And before I jump into this topic, do me one quick favor, leave me a like below. Make sure you're subscribed so that we can get you all the information you need to keep crushing it in your journey. And of course, click below and access the nutrition coaching cheat sheet. Everything you need to understand, apply, and ultimately move yourself forward in your nutritional journey. So how do we approach nutrition for CrossFit? Well, it's simple. We do it just like we would pretty much any other sport. First and foremost, we understand what are the demands of the activity CrossFit. Note I didn't say the sport of CrossFit, but the activity of CrossFit because your everyday average person is not truly competing. And I understand the open is coming up and yes, you want your best scores. It's not what you're getting paid to do. It's not necessarily what's going to make or break your life. At the end of the day, it's, it's, not, what, uh, it's not what you're investing absolutely 100% of yourself into. Now, we do want to see success. We do want to see improvement year to year. And yes, we want to probably beat the people in our gym. So how do we maximize that? When we understand the sport, first and foremost, it is a glycolytic sport, meaning it is fueled by glycolysis, meaning you must be taking in carbohydrates, okay? So if you are on the keto diet, even if you're fasting and you're getting not enough carbohydrates, the first thing you need to understand is yes, you do need carbohydrates. Number two is you also need recovery. CrossFit as a training modality, and even if we don't use the word CrossFit, if we call it mixed modal training, it is the highest intensity training that most people will do. And when we understand the role of intensity, we understand that intensity is just simply a stressor. The more and more that you're training, the more and more you're stressing. Here we are in Western culture, and I'm filming this video in 2021, and we're just coming out of a pandemic, all right? We had the most stressful year that pretty much any of us have been exposed to. We have stressful jobs. We have stressful home lives. Perhaps we're financially stressed because of what the pandemic did to us. And now all of a sudden, we want to insert the highest intensity, i.e the highest level of stress training modality on top of that. So yes, you must recover. And by the way, the biggest recovery you're going to get nutritionally is carbohydrates away from nutrition. Make sure you're sleeping. Make sure you're you know, getting in your parasympathetic inputs and just make sure you're doing everything you can to recover your body, recover your mind, and everything else that you need to do to bring yourself to that homeostatic level. How do we actually move forward in terms of programming nutrition for CrossFit? Well, it's simple. First, what are your goals? And remember the triangle of awareness. So if we put the triangle of awareness right here and we look at it, we've got performance, we have aesthetics, and we have longevity. Notice that the absolute points of each triangle are maximal distance away from each other. So if your goal is to win the open or to beat your friends or to improve your performance, and you're stating that you are not in any way at this time trying to get super shredded or live to be 110 years old. And that's really important because as we fuel you, the CrossFit athlete, to your best performance, we might gain a few pounds. We might not feel at 110%. And that's okay because this is temporary. Remember that the open coming up or your CrossFit season or your CrossFit event, it should be a very brief period of time where you are focused on one simple thing and that is winning the event. That is ultimately giving 100% to your performance and subsequent your recovery. Now, once you get through season, of course, we're gonna put you through the rest of a periodized schedule where you recover, you know, you make your off-season changes, we ramp you up into next year, but that's a different video for another time. Three things so far. One, you know you need carbohydrates. Two, you know you need to recover. Three, you need to be fueling the appropriate ultimate end result that you're looking for with your CrossFit. Now, let's look at how we would attack the sport of CrossFit in an event like the Open. This coming year, we have a three-week Open. It's a shortened Open. All of the same patterns and all of the same things that we've done in the past are going to repeat themselves. First and foremost, going into week number one, make sure that you are recovered and make sure you're not trying anything new. At this time, virtually everything you've done, you should have data on. Just because somebody tells you that, you know, beets are a superfood or you should go paleo, now's not the time to try that. Even if beets are a superfood or even if maybe paleo would somehow work, which it doesn't, by the way, you should absolutely wait until after the open to start trying those things. Now you gotta work with what brought you to this position, okay? So first, no introduction of new foods, no introduction of new protocols. Now, walking into week number one, nothing's really going to change. You know, if I was coaching you, if you were my athlete and we were getting ready for the first open announcement, I would say, hey, we've done the work. We've gotten to this point. It's just another effort. We want you to give 100% effort. Go out there, crush it. Make sure you sleep well the night before. 
make sure you stay on your schedule. But what happens after that is where the real importance lives. After workout number one, you have to remember you're going to sell yourself out more than you sell yourself out on a day in day out basis. Meaning, you know, if it was a 20 minute AMRAP and you're super cool with, you know, shutting it down at 19 minutes and 50 seconds, there's no way in the open that you're wasting those 10 seconds. You're pushing with every ounce of you to get every rep, every second shaved off your score to, to get yourself as high as you can on the leaderboard. And that's going to be more taxing on your central nervous system. That's going to leave you with a need for way more recovery. So the first thing I want you to consider as the open approach is that your post-workout shakes, you may want to be adding extra carbohydrate. Remember, one of the things that the Nutritional Coaching Institute subscribes to is the belief that immediately post-workout, we should be taking in a high molecular weight carbohydrate. And no, this is not for glycogen replenishment. This is to effectively attenuate the nervous system response. We know that when you get in a training environment, we see cortisol start to rise. We know that as soon as the, you know, the workout's over, your body doesn't know it's over, so that cortisol stays elevated and we wanna shut that off. We wanna begin that parasympathetic process. And so this is where we're recommending a high molecular weight carb. Consider during the open adding some extra high molecular weight carbs, maybe 25, maybe 50 grams, just depends on your level. The second question I would have for you is, are you going to repeat this workout. If you are going to repeat this workout, perhaps consider the idea that hey, maybe you need more carbs between the first attempt and the second attempt. This is gonna be largely dependent on the type of workout it is, but this is a consideration that I want you to understand. Again, there's no blanket templates here. I can't necessarily tell you exactly what you should be doing, but consider the fact you may need more fuel, all right? So get through your second attempt. Again, recover with extra carbohydrates post-workout, and then you've got a whole another week until week number two. The question is, at this point, what do we do between those three to four days between week one and week two. And I want you to understand at this moment, your recovery debt is actually a little bit larger than it would normally be throughout your year. So this means you either need to be sleeping more, you need to be getting more parasympathetic inputs, more body work, or you need to be fueling yourself a little bit more nutritionally. So this is maybe where you're bringing your calories up. 5%, 10%, you know, bringing those carbohydrates, those fats up just a little bit. You need to understand where is your recovery at. Most likely you're in a recovery debt at this point. You need to make sure you're going into week number two fueled. Now the same principles apply. You're going to go in, you're going to compete, you're going to leave it on the floor week number two. I want you to recover with more carbohydrate. I want you to consider more carbohydrate between the first attempt and the second attempt. Recover with more carbohydrate from the second attempt and then boom. Here we are, the gap week two to week three. And we know this is the final workout this year. So with that being understood, you're in a bigger recovery debt. So yes, once again, ask yourself, do I need to eat more? Do I need more body work? Do I need more sleep? Do I need more parasympathetic inputs? But these are the things you're asking. It's not the specific types of foods. It's not even necessarily your macronutrient ratios. It is 100% a function of the inputs and ultimately the ability to recover from those inputs. So. If you're a CrossFitter, obviously there's several things you need to be asking yourself. First of which is, what is my goal? Is it performance, is it aesthetics, or is it longevity? Second, am I fueling a glycolytic sport with the appropriate fuel source, i.e. carbohydrate? If you're not, start eating. Number three, are you competing? Where are you at in your season? What has brought you to this point? And what changes are you not going to make? And what things are you ultimately gonna stick with? So. Anyway, I hope this video helps you guys. Best of luck in the 2021 Open. If you have any questions, by all means, click the link below, get access to the Nutrition Coaching Cheat Sheet. Send me a private message. I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys have. And as always, my friends, go out and choose impact over everything.